Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Dead by Daylight. Today we're going to be going over, well I'm going to have Myers gameplay later in the video because I'm sure some of you are craving some of that since it's been a hot second. I mean outside of the stream, but outside of that it's been a hot second since I've like dedicated I guess a video, like a YouTube video to uh, just kind of Myers stuff that wasn't from Twitch. So that's happening later, but a question I get a lot are... What is the best build on the shape? What is the best one? And I don't think I can really answer that. I think a lot of things kind of work with him. And I am not really entirely sure myself. My build for Myers changes all the time. My build from like three months ago was drastically different. I mean, I used to run... Um, what, what did I run? I ran Corrupt Intervention... Save the best is somewhere. Save the best for last. Play with your food and pop goes the weasel. There's no information with this build. I mean, it worked out uh, really well for me. Uh, it was mostly focused on snowballing because of these two perks. It was basically like you're gaining something from everybody you find. If you find someone that isn't the obsession, you get save the best for last stacks. If you find the obsession, you gain stock and you get uh, play with your food stacks. You can also gain stock from people that aren't the obsession. And then you have these two perks just to slow the game down. And that's what I used for a really long time. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, so sure that save the best for last is so good. I think it's almost like overkill uh, with these two. And as of recent, I've been uh, running the Hex Undying Ruin thingy for gen slowdown. Where is Ruin? Of course, the, the almighty new overlord that is our undying hex ruin combo and then play with your food and then i would have barbecue i mean they're probably better uh information perks uh but you know blood points so but that's kind of I, I, and i'm not even fully confident i'm not sure if i really like this combination on myers yet i'm not really sure uh i don't know if i really like it i've still been kind of messing with it and i, I i'm just not so sure but one thing I am for sure with, well, I'm going to go through, uh, not each perk, but I'm going to go through, like, kind of, like, each row, and then the perks that really, I think, stand out on Myers, uh, like, have some kind of unique kind of quality that are kind of better to him, I'm going to mention. The other ones I'm kind of, like, kind of skip over, um, so, yeah. So, first, Nurse's Calling, I think this is a pretty solid perk on Myers, especially because he has a low terror radius in tier 2, and if you com uh, combine that with Monitor and Abuse, which we'll get into later, and of course, uh, Myers Dead Rabbit, you can get a really small terror radius, and if you catch people healing, it will um, allow you to get really close, slap them, and not allow them to do stuffs, so yeah, that's cool, they don't get a heal, you get a down, very cool, uh, information is always nice. A bamboozle. Now, uh, some people don't know this, but Myers, even in tier 2, has a slightly faster vault. He has a slightly, slightly faster vault. You more want to run this, uh, in my opinion, uh, just for the sake of making his vault even faster. And it's in tier 3, his vault is, as most people know, very fast. So if you have bamboozle on, you're going to be cruising uh, through window vaults. It's easy, easy hits. And of course, you do block off... Uh, really strong windows so you can get a uh, shack pallet out of the way really fast um a lot of the time though uh even if like you know bamboozle can block it off um you can kind of just mind game it and then you can kind of get the the pallet to be dropped faster anyways if you just kind of know how to do it but with uh myers since he does have a faster vault there is a little bit more merit to running this on him hold on i'm gonna get a drink of water uh So barbecue and chili. This is good on like every single killer to ever exist ever. You hook someone and you know where to go next. So you see everyone that is 40 meters away and you get more blood points. So it makes the grind easier. You can get more uh, blood points, uh, more perks being unlocked. Everyone is happy. So yeah, it's very, very solid. If you don't see anyone on the, the thingy, if you don't see any auras, then they're either in a locker or they're close by you basically it just really helps you know where to go next and that's nice and it's still really good on myers especially if you have like pop goes the weasel you know where to pop things and stuff like that it's it's nice 
Uh, all of these perks, I mean, Bitter Murmur is fine if you don't really have anything else, but it doesn't, it's not like outstanding on the shape. I wouldn't say this is super amazing. Um, I, I guess it could have some use because if you down a whole bunch of people in tier three and then you hook someone, but at that point they're kind of all down and the game's gonna be slowed down a lot anyways. So eh, I'm not so sure. I might have to play with the perk, give it a, give it a spin. Blood Warden Myers doesn't have a whole lot of um, mobility, so it's not amazing on him. Bloodhound uh, is a tracking perk, not super amazing, fantastic. Uh, you, there are many better choices. Brutal Strength is kind of an interesting one. Uh, Myers is one of the only uh, killers in the game that can gain something uh, from respecting a pallet. That doesn't mean you should respect every pallet on the map. Um, but you can like mix it up and then if you respect a pallet and then you like stalk them It can help you like get like a little bit of extra time But it barely does anything, but it's kind of fun to run and because Myers has that unique aspect. He doesn't have to uh, Charge through every single pallet in existence Corrupt intervention is very good because Myers is really weak during the beginning game the early game his early game is abysmal so Getting uh, well, it can be good. It, it just kind of depends on the survivors you find but corrupt intervention slows down that beginning process just a little bit I don't think it's super 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 amazing uh, if survivors are super immersive uh, And they all just decide to hide near them. It's very rare very very rare But if that does happen and Myers doesn't gain any stock out of it, it's definitely a waste of a perk uh, slot and then I also find that even like you find one survivor and then once the other survivors kind of get the idea that you're chasing someone They kind of start jumping on gens and it does I mean of course you get three block gens no matter what and it will slow down gens uh, Also, no matter what to some extent, but I don't think it slows it down uh, to an extent that a lot of people think it does just in my experience I've still had like uh, plenty of situations where I get a fairly fast chase, but then two gens will still pop um, so eh. It kind of I still think it's really good though definitely really good chlorophobia Myers has a really small terrius I don't think it's very good on him uh, cruel limits is not really a good perk dark devotion can be fun if you have uh, the add-ons that make the tier 3 longer popping tier 3 on the obsession, uh, obsession whacking him slugging him and then going around with zero terrius and tier 3 in a longer tier 3 that's pretty fun pretty fun I don't think it's like amazing on him but it's really fun it's really fun Deadman Switch is not a very good perk. Deathbound. Um, I mean, information is always nice. So, I guess it's fine-ish. Um, I mean, there's a lot of better things to run. Uh, on Myers, it's, I wouldn't say it's really special in any way. Deerstalker, if you're starting the game, I do recommend running this perk. Especially because it's uh, not a teachable, so you're going to have it no matter what. Um, but when you you want to slug a lot is Michael Myers So when you slug a lot a lot of uh, new players have a really hard time tracking deer stalker will help out a lot I used it a lot when I was uh, new to the game help me out quite a bit uh, discordance I actually haven't used the new one um I, I, I mean, it's still good. It's still information, but I think there are better informations for Mikey. Uh, we should be getting to one of them. Infectious Fright. That's the one I'm talking about. Infectious Fright is a much better information perk for Michael Myers in particular. And if you want to know people that are farther away, I think Thrilling and Tinkerer and uh, Barbecue do the job better. Distressing is terrible on Myers. Uh, you want his turret just to be really small uh, So having distressing isn't too great unless you're going for like an infinite tier 3 dead rabbit Infectious fright build so you want everybody on the map to scream. Otherwise, it's pretty terrible <laughs> Dragon's grip. Uh, he kind of already has an exposure thing. I don't think it's too great on him uh, Personally, and he doesn't have like an insane amount of mobility or anything like that. So I don't think it's too good Dying light is kind of a bad perk. It's not too great. I don't have a whole lot of things. This is KOF, of course, so that's why all, you're seeing all of this on uh, my console. I have all the perks and all that jazz, but on PC, I don't have all my killers leveled up yet. So I use Dying Light in a combination of Pop Goes the Weasel. Excuse me. But when you combine those two perks, essentially what you get is like a really strong endgame. 
like if you get a uh, like a three gen lockdown if you had a decent amount of hooks those last three gens are going to be really hard to get uh, because you know you get the exposed test effect and then you get down a few people get a few pop goes the weasels uh, keep it uh, keep them low and then dying light kind of helps cement that to ensure that you have a little bit of leeway if you do decide to dedicate to a chase or something of the sort so yeah enduring is pretty good but like i kind of mentioned earlier Myers is one of the only killers that can still gain something out of respecting a pallet, but in tier 3, uh, people do tend to drop pallets really, 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 really fast. So it can still be really solid for tier 3. So, solid perk. Fire up is a meme. Uh, if we're being serious, it's not too great. Um, it's fun to have like the Vault Master Myers and combine this with Bamboozle. But it's not a very good perk. I'm going to hurry and make sure I am, in fact, recording. Okay, I get paranoid sometimes. I apologize. Uh, Force Penance. Uh, do, 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 do survivors who take... Ah, yeah. Um, I don't think it's too great because he can expose survivors and stuff like that. So, I don't think it's too great on him. Uh, Franklin's Demise. If people bring in items, uh, I typically bring it in when people bring keys. It's not really special on Myers. It's Franklin's Demise. Uh, furtive chase I don't think is really good um, in chase you actually would especially if you're running like infectious or something you'd kind of prefer the terror radius to be bigger so more people scream if you're not running infectious even then uh, what's the point in having your terror radius be low in the chase uh, they're gonna find out where the person like <sighs> they're gonna get the information anyways because you down the person they're like oh he's there so why does it matter like, I, I can't think of a time where this perk would just kind of be useful. Gearhead. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, this one, it's uh, kind of like a poor man's discordance. It's fine, but there are way better options. Hangman's Trick. Uh, not amazing. I, I remember it was really good in the PTB, but now it's not too great. Um, and I mean, information's nice. It's always nice, but it's not really amazing on Myers. Uh, blood favor can be really fun. It can be really really fun Especially if you have like save the best for last you whack someone they go to a pallet or if you like with tier 3 If you uh, have two people next to a gen, they don't uh, they tr Decide to like dedicate themselves to it. You smack one guy down in tier 3 the other guy starts running to a pallet and All of a sudden it's blocked and you're like haha and you smack them down too. It, it can be really fun. Devour of Hope. Uh, Myers already has kind of an exposed thing, so it's not really amazing on him. It can be fun. It's Devour of Hope. When it works, it's really fun. When it doesn't, it, it's not fun. <laughs> Haunted Grounds. It can be kind of good. I actually find, especially if they like see a lit totem, especially in the current meta. I have had games. Uh, it's a really, really old video, but I had a game where I like downed three people tier one because I got Haunted Grounds off. They don't, because you have no terror radius, and then all of a sudden they're exposed and stuff like that. It can be pretty scary. And also in tier 2 it can be. So I don't think it's actually, I think it's pretty solid on him actually. Huntress's Lullaby is Huntress's Lullaby. It's pretty meh. No one escapes death. I think is terrible on Michael Myers. I think it's absolutely terrible. Um, it teaches you poor stock management. And I mean, he already has the exposed stuff to begin with. Yeah, he gets a little bit faster in tier 3, but I think it teaches especially new Michael Myers players. I used to run it on Michael Myers when I was new to the game. It's terrible. Uh, it teaches very poor stock management. I mean, at the like when I'd play, I'd be like, oh, well, I'm going to have no ed popping very soon. And like you tend to kind of rely on it a little bit. And even then, it usually only grants you one extra kill unless the team are a bunch of idiots and they decide to stay around for no reason. Like you get one extra kill and the rest should leave if they don't they're stupid <laughs> straight up <laughs> they're just kind of dumb <laughs> uh hex retribution i think has some potential on them but the thing is you don't know when it's really gonna pop off so infectious fright i still think is much more reliable and better but it can be if you like save the tier three and then you kind of wait for like a hex tone to be cleansed and then you see all this uh the auras and then you pop tier three it can be pretty fun um i don't think it's it's just not as reliable you can't you don't choose when it goes off so i don't think it's too great excellent i think is solid on myers if you have infectious fright 
and you like knock somebody down and then the person screams they tend to like get off of it thinking you might start going for them so it might get a little bit of aggression there and if you watch people from a distance they tend to also get off of generators so you don't necessarily need to be in their face uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, but since he can kind of watch from afar, I think he still gets some pretty solid use out of Ruin. Third seal can be fun with Myers because he likes to slug, and when you slug people and leave people blinded and that kind of stuff, it can be really fun. Uh, I think it's pretty solid on him. Of course, like, you know, the totem is uh, a bit of an issue with it being a totem perk, but if you combine it with Hex Undying, all of a sudden, it becomes better. Thrill of the Hunt, uh, if you have a perk, I don't think, uh, even then, I don't think it's amazing. Just because Myers can't, uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, so he can't always defend it. And they'll, they'll keep bowling your totem, and then you'll be like, ah, I don't know what to do. So it can definitely kind of mess you up in that kind of regard. Uh, mess up your priorities, so I don't think it's too great on him. Hex Undying is good on everybody. It's really good. You combine it with, like, Ruin or another Hex perk that you want to keep up. It's really good. I'm all ears. I think it's pretty solid on every killer. Nothing really uh, special, particular to Myers. Uh, Infectious Fright, I think, is amazing on Myers. Of course, of course, it's amazing. Myers relies on slugging, and you combine this with Monitor and Abuse, which is also another great perk on Michael Myers. And you're like, when you down someone, you're gonna know when to slug people, uh, especially in tier three. Of course, in tier three, uh, when your terror radius is bigger. Um, but you know also has a few other purposes if someone has a flashlight they're going to scream and then you're like Oh, well, I know where you are now And now I know not to pick this guy up and stuff like that It's a great perk on him. It can really get that snowball going insidious Myers already has a small terrorist. This perk is not good You shouldn't be like kind of just sitting somewhere with Myers uh, to begin with not too great Iron grasp is Not really special or unique to Myers in any kind of way. It's iron grasp <laughs> Iron Maiden, also, it's Iron Maiden. It doesn't really benefit Myers. Like, Myers doesn't get any special real ups from it. Uh, Knockout is really good because Myers likes to slug. So if they're not in an SWF or something like that, you knock someone down. They could be on the floor for a really long time. Solid perk on Myers. Lightborn is not really special to Myers in any way. Or it's, it doesn't perform anything special with him. So it, it's Lightborn. Uh, mad grit is mad grit make your choice uh, Myers already kind of gets the exposed status effects a lot of the time I don't think it's too great on him. He has a low amount of mobility to begin with. I don't think it's too great on him uh, Mind breaker. I don't think is also it's mind breaker. It's not that amazing of a perk um, I don't think it's I mean, I guess it could like buy you like an extra hit sometimes like if they have sprint burst But really I can only think of sprint burst really, or maybe balance I guess but uh, once again, not really anything special to Myers, I would say. Maybe if you have like tier three going on and you go to near gen, they normally would have sprint burst, but then all of a sudden they don't. But uh, that doesn't, that's not a scenario that would pop up insanely often. Of course, the big one, the one everyone is like, this is the best perk on Michael Myers. I don't think it's the best one on Michael Myers, but I think it is, yeah, it's really good. It is phenomenally good. Um, a lower like so in tier one myers has no terrius in tier two he gains a 16 meter terrius and then all of a sudden when you like do stuffs when you slap this on it will decrease his terrius to eight meters you're gonna be breathing down people's necks by the time you get to it and even i mean in tier three it'll decrease it to about i think if my math is right like 24 meters something like that wait is that right yeah, I think that's right. Uh, 24 meters, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like, uh, I think, is that Deslinger's terror radius? I don't know. Something like that. It's really small. It's really, really, really small. Uh, well, no, 24 meters isn't really small, but it still helps you get a little more distance in. And then if you pair it with Infectious Fright while you're in chase, it like increases your terror radius by 8 meters. So all of a sudden you get a little bit more range with the Infectious Fright. You can pick more people up. And in doing so, you can... Um... My words come to mind increases your terror radius so like you scare people you can scare more people and then you increase your snowball potential because you know where more people are monster shrine is monster shrine it's not good uh nemesis can be pretty fun because you can combine it with judas journal which gives you faster stock uh against the obsession so that can be kind of fun uh i think it's it, it can be pretty fun not amazing but it can be fun 
Overcharge is overcharge. Overwhelming is overwhelming. Play with your food. This is my baby. Okay. Play with your food, I think, is the most underrated perk on Michael Myers in the game and could possibly be his best perk or definitely up there. It, I think, uh, top five. I think this is one of his best perks. He, I think he's the only killer in the game that really benefits from this perk. I think Bubba used to do pretty good with it too, but they changed him. I don't think he really needs it anymore, but Michael Myers, I think this helps him out so much. So you find the obsession, and the thing is you can gain stacks while stalking people. So you gain your power while getting faster. So let's say you find the obsession first. This isn't guaranteed, um, but let's say you find your obsession first. And then you start, uh, you find him in tier one, you start a chase, you start stalking, bam, you have another stack. Let's say he loses sight at one point, you're only halfway to tier one. All of a sudden, you're now at the same speed as a huntress is. That's way better than uh, what it is before. And then you find him again, and you start stalking, and then uh, bam, maybe you got to tier two, and all of a sudden, you're moving at 125% uh, movement speed. You find, and then like you lose chase again. Uh, at, this is towards the beginning. And then what you do is you find him one more time. You 99 the tier three, and all of a sudden you're moving at 130% movement speed. And you go, and most people at, near the start of the game, there's usually two people on one gen. You're zooming across the map at this point. You you can find these people. You slap, and then like you pop tier three. And the thing is, one person down is only one stack. So you can potentially down three different people while moving faster than you should be with a longer lunge and a faster vault that is so good i do not know why uh more people do not use it i think it's uh, of course there is the argument well you might not find the obsession at the beginning and stuff like that that's perfect yeah you might not but then later in the game you might find the obsession you will i mean I, it's very very rare i do not come across matches very often where I just do not find the obsession. It's very rare. Eventually you find them and then you still build power while gaining speed. Even one, you don't need three tokens. One token is still really, really, really good. I, I, uh, I think it's very underrated on Michael Myers. I think this is definitely one of his better perks. I think it's super, super good. Pop goes the weasel, also really good. Uh, gen regression, you hook someone and then you go pop a gen. Slows the game down a little bit. It's nice. Predator is bad. Rancor, I don't think is really good on Michael Myers. Uh, for one, you don't really want the game to get to the end game to begin with, and it's not a super great tracking perk uh, to begin with, so I don't think it's amazing. Uh, Remember Me is also, I don't think, super good. Uh, it encourages kind of like leaving, uh, well, kind of tunneling a little bit, uh, so you might get too focused on one character uh, to begin with. And also, end game, once again, you don't really want the game to get to end game. Save the Best for Last is, I think it's fine. I think it's good on him. I used to think it was amazing. It's very addictive. Uh, it can help increase his snowball potential, and because he can tier 3, you can have like 6 stacks, and then you tier 3 the obsession, and you still have 4, and that's still pretty good. Or something like that. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I think it, no, not pretty good, but I think it's good onto the shape. Uh, it can help him out a little bit. Uh, I think there are definitely better options though. Shadowborn is Shadowborn. It doesn't really give you any super big advantage. I guess with Myers, it's uh, you get something. I get because it increases your field of view. You have you can like stalk people like in a wider FOV. I guess I don't know. It's not really that great. If you if you find that makes the game more comfortable for you, I know some people like they they get like headaches if they don't play with Shadowborn. So if you're one of those people, might as well. But uh, yeah, Monitored Abuse also gives you an increased FOV out of chase, and that's usually when you're stalking. So usually it's better to just put on this one over Shadowborn. Uh, sloppy Butcher. So when you slap people in uh, tier two, or even in tier three, if you down a whole bunch of people, they're going to have to heal more. And if they decide not to heal, all of a sudden you're a Michael Myers, 16 meter terror radius. Everyone is injured. Uh, still a very scary situation. You don't need tier three as much, but then you can have tier three 99. Well, I guess tier two 99. Uh, so you have tier three ready to go any instant. So if they decide not to heal, then all of a sudden. Um, you're, like I said, a very small terror radius killer running around slapping people left and right. And if they decide uh, to heal, all of a sudden you have tier 3 ready. So you get them injured again. It can be really good. It helps slow the game down a little bit. Spice from the Shadow is not amazing. Gives you a little bit of information. It can maybe like help you catch someone you would have missed, uh, but not amazing. Spirit Fury. 
Uh, people like to pair this with Enduring because then you get the faster. It's not the worst idea in the world because in tier three, people drop pallets really quickly. Um, most of the time though, I, I don't think it's uh, amazing, especially if they know what you have, they'll drop a, a, a lot earlier, but with the tier three lunge, you can catch up to some pallets. I think there's still better options though, uh, that you can put on the shape. Strider is fine, I guess. Uh, information is nice and this kind of gives you like, can potentially make you hear something, but most of the time you can hear people most of the time, unless they have like iron will or something, just get better ears five head. Uh, Surge. It's pretty good on him. It's not like a super amazing perk, but because Myers downs people in his uh, basic attacks all the time, you're gonna get a decent amount of use out of it. So I think it's pretty uh, fun. It's a fun little perk. I don't think it's really good, but it's fun. Surveillance. Um, I mean, information's nice. It's always nice. Myers, and like since Myers doesn't have a mobility, it can tell him, oh, hey, there are people like that just, just touch that gen. Okay, I, I know like an area where I can go where people will be, so. Yeah, it's nice. Territorial is terrible. Uh, Thanatophobia is not too great. He's not going to gain too much out of it. When you down multiple people in tier 3, um, cool. But, uh, you know, you're not always going to get that. I There are better options. Thrilling Tremors is good on him. Information is very good. Combine this with, like, pop or something, and then all of a sudden you have information. Information is good. You know where to go next. Very cool. Tinkerer, same deal as this, except you get zero terradius. So you could be a tier three and all of a sudden you have no terror radius and you know where they're about to pop a gen and you could potentially uh, put a big hurting on survivors. Very scary. Same deal as kind of tinkerer, uh, kind of. I mean, you, you slap a gen and then you have no terror radius until they touch it. And you can combine that with surveillance or something like that. Just, to, yeah, I don't know, you, you know things. And this can be really scary in tier three as well. Running around tier three notarious, that's terrifying. Uh, unnerving presence, bad. Unrelenting, bad. Whispers is good, it helps him a lot in the early game. Uh, so he can find survivors really quickly and you know, start stalking. Uh, his engine tactics, I guess kind of good for beginners-ish, but it doesn't really have any special appeal on um, Myers in particular, more like Doctor, maybe even Oni. Uh, Myers, I don't think as much. Uh, I guess in tier 3 you'd be able to see, oh, they're about to run to that pallet. Maybe I shouldn't dedicate to them, but it's not that great. And with that being said, I think that should be it. In another video, I'll, I can go over like the add-ons, but a lot of people are asking me what perks I find to be good on Myers. And I think that kind of uh, sums up what I kind of think of the perks on Myers. So... There you all go. Uh, have fun doing stuff with the Michael Myers. I'm going to go ahead and begin a match. Uh, and you guys can like tag along if you want, I guess. Pretty please. It'll be a good time, I promise. That being said, though, uh, thank you so much for listening to me rambling. Uh, I'm now going to begin a match. Stay safe. Okay. Gas 7. Wait. Yeah, okay. We're recording. Uh, let's see, no objects. I don't know why, but when I uh, tend to go up against an object, it's usually on this map. I'm telling you, it's something paranormal. Uh, the good thing about play with your food, though, is I now know where the obsession is at all times. So object of obsession actually helps me. And then, as you can see, I'm stalking. I'm going to lose chase soon, as long as I keep stalking. Bam. One, and then I can kind of chase her, get a second one, and leave her. Just like that. Very start of the game, I already have two stacks. I'm already faster. I know where Ace is. Two stacks. Just like that. Faster boy. Alright, let's see. Did you decide to go over here? I see scratches. Someone is over here. I have a, a tier 399. Lori is over here. Let's see if she decides to put it down. She did. Okay. Wait, no, you're not supposed to hide. That's illegal. Oh, I hear her. She's gonna drop it. She is not. Wait, no, this person's over here, and I have uh, increased movement speed. So I can start marching over. There she is. Catch up a little quicker. Start getting people slugged, which means uh, we're gonna get people off of gens. 
We see another person over there. It might be wise. Yeah, it's wiser to actually skip him because we're going to get a stack and be faster and go for this person. This person's over here. Let's see if he decides to drop it, drop it early. He did not. And because I have stacks of player three food and a bigger lunge, he doesn't get anything out of that. This person went over here. They picked her up. Looking, 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 looking. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, 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 that was just really bad play on my part. Ah, there we go. Okay, and then Ace was like right over here. Oh, they picked him up. Very nice. Oh, Obsession. Go ahead and get a stack. Get a little bit closer to tier three. I actually shouldn't have picked her up. Yeah, she doesn't get that though. Happy to hit him. Even if they both take a hit, uh, that's not doing anything. Go ahead and start stalking. Why did I miss? This is a bad gameplay on my part, though. And I apologize for that. There we go. Gonna get a stack from that. Everyone's injured. She's gonna get hit here. Dead hard, there it is. They're touching this. Go ahead and start stalking for the future. They're all injured now, but that doesn't mean they won't start healing in the future. Might as well. Pop this real quick. There's someone to my right, very close. Oh, they're all here. Which means none of them are really touching a gen. Let's see if we can get her to drop this. Down she goes. We saw Ace over here. Did he hide behind? Where'd he go? Balance? Balanced. There's Ace. We can actually start a chase with the obsession. Very nice. My chase is going for a really long time. They're all kind of uh, circling around here. That person's there. She's here. I can get another stack. This is another thing you can do with play with your food. They won't be able to like keep doing this because I like, just keep well she in particular won't be able to keep doing it since I'm faster. She's gonna keep coming back. She's just gonna keep making me faster though, and it's easier to get stacks when I'm going faster and they just can't uh, keep kind of pressuring me like this. Soon he won't be able to make it to that pallet if I get enough speed. There she is. Two I can do this all day. I have no reason uh, to leave. And just like that, three stacks. He's going to have to drop this here. I am very fast. She's gonna give me another stack. Break this. Picked one person up. Drop it. Guess not. This person's probably going to get a little more confident because he's healed now. Oh, he's way over there. Doesn't really matter. Is she going to drop it? Dead hard. He might get one person up. That's fine. Yep. They wanted to all keep playing around me, so we just punished them for that. And another cool, a little small thing with play with your food is that uh, when you're picking people up, it still increases your movement speed, so you have like a mini agitation. After she goes, if one of them gets off of the the hook, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I have a plenty of pressure, <laughs> so I'm not too worried. Someone had a breakable. That's perfectly fine. I kind of wanted the game to continue for a little longer anyways. There we go. She does not have uh, any of the thingies. She doesn't have a flashlight. Borrow time and she's gonna have DS as well. 
She's pretty close to bleeding out, though, actually. That's perfectly fine. There we go. The Nia also has uh, DS, which is why she's t back. He's right there. That was, I don't know why I swung there. Just gonna do, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend to pick her up. Pretend to pick her up. She can't do anything. Up she goes. Hi. She did drop God Pound. No, she didn't. Never mind. She shouldn't have DS anymore, though. I think. Pa Pow. Basement was there. I probably should have just taken her there. That's very, very much fine. I'm in a very clean position. And they're not healing either, and I have tier 399, so... As soon as they decide to do something, it's uh, pretty ouchy pouchies. Tend to break it. Ah, I thought maybe. Cover stack from her. I don't actually mind waiting. She has uh, the thingy. There you go. Keep her uh, down on the ground. This is a good pallet, so we'll go ahead and break it. Uh, we know we they touched this gen a little earlier. There's Lori. Did I just hook Lori? I don't remember. I might have. Gonna keep her running. Oh. Pretend to break it. I've been instantly breaking the pallet, so she might. That's fine. We can go ahead and break it on this side. Uh, get her closer to where all the pallets have already been broken. This pallet's still here. Very nice, very nice. I thought she'd think I'd dedicate to the other side. They're starting to heal. Someone there? No. Okay, obsessions there. I know where they are. Nia's dead on hook, if I recall correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up. Oh, this is right here. Very nice. She's dead, very nice. Two people are over here. The Nia's not doing anything, so there's no reason to go for her. We have a few stacks of Dying Light, so I don't think they did finish it. That's perfectly fine. We're still in a very good spot. Now, what do I want to do here? Well, yeah, Ace isn't healed. If she decides to take a, a hit for him. Or tend to break it. Decide to keep running. She does have a flashlight. Oh, good dead hard. I don't know why I didn't think he wouldn't have dead hard. He didn't camp it either. Very, very smart boy. Oh. I don't know where he went. So I can... Do I want a tier 3 her? Yeah, I want some kind of pressure just right now. No one else had a flashlight, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm guessing if the Nia's on any gen, it's probably, yeah, this one. If she decides to dedicate to it, I'm going to have a head start on her, and I'm going to be able to down her, and at that point, it's kind of, uh, she goes down kind of thing. She does have balance, though, so she could actually potentially uh, get out with this. She's going to vault the window very quickly because she does have balance. We're going to double-double back. 
She didn't buy it. Will I have enough time? She's probably gonna drop this one pretty early. She thought I was gonna double back twice. She's dead. <clears throat> hooks, hooks, hooks. I guess we can go to this one. I might not be able to make it actually. These two people are injured though, so that's pretty nice. Up she goes. And dead. I haven't hooked the ace yet. They're all the way over there. If they dedicate to it, if they have adrenaline, then they, uh, I'll probably only get one more. I want to kind of get the ace. I do have six stacks of dying light though, which is pretty nice. Let's see here. I want to guess she probably jumped in a locker. It looks like she did not. There's one. Where's the other? I haven't hooked this person at all and I kind of want my last stack of barbecue. Mm -mm -mm. Or if I can find Hatch, I guess I can deal with that. Oh, scratches. Yep, there we go. Very nice. And that should be GG's. You can dead hard to the pallet. I should have uh, roasted him the other way. Drop it. He did not. He got greedy. GG. She should be dead, so I'm gonna kill her first and make sure she like gets sacrificed to the entity And then once that happens, I'm gonna pick up the other guy just so he doesn't have a chance to 4% I like his moonwalk skills very nice now he doesn't have a chance of 4%, and we are straight vibing. Up you go, big boy. So they definitely messed up when they kind of all fluttered around me. If I really wanted to be cautious about it, I could have just... I could have ended the game a long time ago. I could have baited uh, going, like, picking that one guy up at the pallet. I kind of had a feeling they were going to have something up their sleeve, and I didn't really care because I had a lot of pressure. I knew I could still win from that. Uh, and I wanted to make it more entertaining for YouTube and sick, merciless. Uh, so yeah, that was a fun little game of Dead by Daylight. Uh, GG's well played. So what are all the things they brought? Oh, three of them are on console. They're pretty, yeah, every, you don't see the quad DS very often. But he only had green, come on man, get with the program, get with the program. Anyways, uh, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and take my leave. Uh, you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.